As above, so below is something you've probably heard before. It is in the Kabbalion and even Christians have their own version when it comes to thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There are pagan as well as other spiritual traditions that just use as above, so below. So we will be getting into that in principle number two of the Hermetic principles in the Kabbalion, the principle of correspondence. First of all, as I find this page, welcome, welcome to another video. I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley Sage Sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. So, principle number two, the principle of correspondence. As above, so below. As below, so above. The Kabbalion. As I did last time, I will read this quick little, oh, this one's even faster, quick little excerpt. And then we will get into it. The principle embodies the truth that there is always a correspondence between the laws and phenomenon of various planes of being and life. The old hermetic axiom ran in these words, as above, so below, as below, so above. And the grasping of this principle gives one the means of solving many a dark paradox and hidden secret of nature. There are planes beyond our knowing, but when we apply the principle of correspondence to them, we are able to understand much that would otherwise be unknown to us. This principle is of universal application and manifestation. on the very, wow, I lost my place. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this principle is of universal application and manifestation on the various planes of material, mental, and spiritual universe. It is an universal law. The ancient hermit, hermetists Consider this principle as one of the most important mental instruments by which man was able to pry aside the obstacles which hid from view the unknown. Its use even tore aside the veil of Isis to the extent that a glimpse of the face of the goddess might be caught, just as a knowledge of... The principle of geometry enables man to measure distant suns and their movements while seated in his observatory. So a knowledge of the principle of correspondence enables man to reason intelligently from the known to the unknown. Studying the monad, he understands the archangel. So, I believe it's a Patreon video that I have. I might have posted it here on YouTube where I talk about what a monad is. I used to have the um, exact breakup, breakdown uh, written on my whiteboard, but I don't have that anymore, which is unfortunate because I only just erased it to start something else. Um, but basically, we, as individual pieces of God, source, spirit, cosmic consciousness have clust soul clusters. And so our monad is a larger grouping of our soul clusters. So for instance, we might have, you know, what we consider soulmates. I done a video on that, how I, very much have come to understand that a soulmate does not have to be an intimate um, lover or partner um, in that terms of relationship. You can have a soulmate that is absolutely a friend and that has zero sexual chemistry with you and vice versa. Um, so if you have soulmates, you are going to be soulmates because you are going to come from the same monad. 
I believe it is 12 that make up a monad. I haven't studied that in a little while or gone over that in a little while. So I don't remember, I don't remember exactly. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, if we all have a monad that breaks up into different bits that breaks up into eventually our individual soul or spirit, then we really are all just a little piece of God, source, spirit, cosmic consciousness that all eventually will come back together into one form. And this is really what as above, so below is about. We are a reflection of the spiritual realm. And like the principle of mentalism talks about, all of life, as I've been talking about, is a manifestation, is a mental projection. And though there are some things that we have so concretely an understanding of that certain things at this time are unchangeable, that does not mean that they will always be unchangeable. And that does not mean that there aren't many, many, many other things that we can change about our lives. So understanding that really, and this is something that A Course in Miracles goes into, heaven is on earth right now. Even if you don't believe in the Christian idea of heaven, you can have just as much hell on earth right now, depending on how you live your life, as above, so below. We here on earth are creating everything that matters now. That's why in A Course in Miracles, we touch on briefly, but don't give much weight to the concept of things like reincarnation. Because the past and the future, in that broader sense, don't matter. Your past lives, this is why I don't do past life's, life regressions with people anymore. And where our, what A Course in Miracles calls salvation, some call it enlightenment. Uh, what's the other word for that? Nirvana. While that is something that we are working towards, even our awakening, all we can really do is focus on this present moment right now. So it doesn't really matter where we go when we die. It doesn't really matter where we've been in the past. What matters is working towards our ultimate enlightenment or really, as I say, life kinder and simpler, happier and healthier in this present moment. That is what matters. The more you create your own heaven on earth in that sense by making your life happy and healthy through understanding that the mind, body, and spirit are all connected. And so if you make your life not materialistically like saturated necessarily, but I wouldn't discount those things either, but really focus on just what makes it's so that you can follow your joy right now. And I'm not saying to like give up your job tomorrow necessarily either. <laughs> but how can you a little bit at a time make your life healthier and therefore happier a little bit at a time? Because the best thing that we can do for ourselves is create our heaven on earth right now. Like I said, whether you believe in a Christian version of heaven or not, even if we do reincarnate, even if we have reincarnated, it doesn't really matter. What matters is making sure that you are healthy and therefore happy right now, because right now is all that you can do anything about anyway. So as above, so below, there are so 
many different ways in which this is reflected in the stars as well as in the roots of the trees and the plants, in the sacred geometry of the world, as they even talked about in this principle, we can start to see <clears throat> through all of the similarities and synchronicities that we are the universe looking back on itself. I really want to do a video on the holographic and simulation theories. And I've been talking about doing this for a little while with someone. So I hope that we get to bring that to you soon. But when you start to recognize things like holographic theory, where each little tiny piece of a hologram has all of the information for the whole, things like that even start to show us just how possible it is that we as an individual and each individual one of our cells even can hold all the information for the universe and for even God, source, spirit, cosmic consciousness itself. Lastly, I did this as a poll on Facebook because uh, I've been getting on there a little more recently. But I want to hear from you guys. What does as above, so below mean to you? I think one of the best ones that was brought to my attention on Facebook was the thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I don't know if I would have remembered to come up with that one on my own had it not been brought to my attention in one of the Rosicrucian groups that I am in on Facebook. So I want to give a big shout out to whoever it was who gave me the idea for that. If you're watching this, give a shout out back in the comments. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, we can all start to understand a little bit more how even such a reflection as knowledge is to know I am nothing. Sorry, knowledge is to know I am everything and wisdom is to know I am nothing. Even that is a reflection of as above, so below. Because it starts to expand our mind when it comes to even just the meme that I came up with reminding us that we are this little spot in the Milky Way. And that big bright orb in the center is not even our, our sun of our solar system. How expansive that all is and how small we are physically in comparison. And yet at the same time, if you remember such a thing as our understanding of how there is a gap in between every little cell, every, Oh no, I'm forgetting the word. <laughs> um, oscillating energy grid. There is space in between every little tiny particle, a massive amount of space in between every little tiny particle. So we are so much bigger and yet so much smaller than we realize at any given time. And we are so significant and yet insignificant in ways neither of which we should take for granted. As above, so below. We are the universe looking back on ourselves. Think about that sometime. That is what I want to leave you with, to meditate. I want you to do this outside, especially even if it's a potted plant with some sort of nature grass, trees, anything, even if it's a public park in a city, 
go sit in nature sometime. Even if you've got people walking around you, even better. But go meditate with your eyes open as a thought, as a sort of meditative thought experiment. And just say to yourself, I am the universe looking back at itself. And just observe everything around you. It blows my mind every time. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. That includes working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have four session packages available for anyone who would like to fill the seven spots I have open right now. More information in the description under the link for signing up for my session packages. Um, I have Patreon where I have journal exercises, guided meditations, workshop replays, my intuitive lifestyle course, and so, so much more. And starting out at as little as $23 a month. And then I have two other tiers as well, which have their own little goodies attached. Um, but you get everything. Like the basic package of $23 a month gives you all of the self-study teachings that I have to offer and I have packed in so many of them over the last two years. If you'd like to get in on my next free live workshop, I will be filming a workshop for Patreon and I do that live for free on Zoom and all you have to do is sign up for my mailing list if you'd like to get in on any of the free workshops or guided meditations that I do. I only do one email a month, if that, so I don't spam. I'm not just sending you emails to remind you I exist. <laughs> I also have a link for doTERRA, your one-stop shop for all your natural living needs. If you want to get rid of all of those nasty th synthetic chemical products in your home, including things like laundry detergents, your soaps, shampoo, dishwasher detergent. Um, hold on one second. doTERRA is an essential oil company that makes ready-made products as well as the selling their essential oils. This is an example. Oh, had it right the first time. This is an example of their um, cream that they have, their ointment they have for putting on wounds. I've got my chapstick here. Gotta love it. Lotions. Essential oils, pure, neat, and mixed with coconut oil, if you like. So much good stuff over on doTERRA. If you would like to ask me any questions about doTERRA or working with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can sign up for my free clarity call that is available for both doTERRA wellness calls and asking questions about working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Lots of other stuff in the description as well. If you're enjoying my videos here, I know you'll enjoy all the links in the description. And yeah, may the energies you serve serve you well. And let's keep making our way through. <laughs>